Good Sunday morning. I'm Serena Vassar and welcome to the vlog. Today is a big day for me. I am getting started here with my very own Heal Your Gut GAPS protocol. Now GAPS stands for Gut and Psychology slash Physiology Syndrome. And I'm a nutritional therapy practitioner and I know a whole bunch about gut health, but I've never tried this protocol for myself. So I am going to embark on a journey here over the next several months and take you guys along with me. So hop in, get ready for the ride, and here we go. So what is the GAPS protocol? The GAPS protocol is an intensive gut healing protocol designed to rebuild gut flora and seal and heal the gut. And what do we mean by seal and heal the gut? Sealing and healing the gut has to do with making sure your gut lining is well intact. If we have lining that is disrupted in some way where perhaps there have been little tiny perforations made in your small intestines, your microvilli, villi have been damaged, then food particles that have been partially digested or not well enough digested can enter into the bloodstream and cause distress. The whole premise behind this GAPS protocol is to repair any damage that has been created there and then improve function. So for me, I have a long history, my, you know, my health goes way back, but my long history has been with some digestive distress. I have made huge, huge, huge improvements over the last six or seven years, but I still have occasional issues. And you know, I've gotten to the point where I feel I'm fantastic, I'm doing really well, I don't have any major problems, but I don't know if you guys can see that out in internet land, but I have a teeny itty bitty little dot right here of eczema coming right out on my forehead, that little tiny space. And I realized, oh, things are not as good as I thought they were. When you have an external expression like that of symptom in the body, on the skin, eczema, rashes, psoriasis, acne, you know that there is some significant issue happening inside the gut. So I realized, wow, I might feel really good. I might be having great bowel movements like I've never had before. <laughs> um, I might have great energy and feel well balanced throughout the day, no more bloating or any of that stuff, but something is still off in my body. So I decided that I wanted to go off on this GAPS process and see how things would go for myself. I have noticed specifically that dairy will make this spot come worse and get more aggravated. Oh, and there's Gus here huh? on the little chair, jumping up to say hello. <laughs> um, so I decided I will take dairy out and see how that goes. So it's been about four weeks now that I have really had not very much dairy. I've had a little bit of butter that it's been in cooking somewhere, but that doesn't seem to cause such a big reaction. But for example, I'm drinking my lovely coffee here and it's black. I used to drink it every day with heavy cream. Now, heavy cream can be a fine food for some people, but if your body is not digesting it well, not utilizing it effectively or breaking it down properly, then you can have an expression of stress, which is what I realized this little tiny spot was saying to me. So I wanted to take some time, and I know it's a process, I know it's gonna take me a little while to put together a personal GAPS protocol for myself, and I've started to write down my list. You guys will see little excerpts from my bullet journal here along the way with my steps to take and um, process that I'm following, so you guys can follow along if you want. Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride is the woman who kind of pioneered this process and put it into practice. And then there's this lovely book here, the Heal Your Gut Cookbook, Nutrient Dense Recipes for Intestinal Healing Using the GAPS Diet by Hilary Boynton, Boynton and Mary Brackett. And here's the cover again for those of you who are watching along. Um, it is filled with fantastic resources and really, really great recipes. The actual GAPS book, which I meant to have here for you guys, but I think it's still in my car from when I was away over the weekend. <laughs> um, is great, but it's a little bit dense. So I love how these two ladies put together all of the major concepts of the GAPS protocol into really easy, understandable terms for people. And then at the same time, they pair these wonderful gut healing concepts with the recipes that take you through each stage. So my hope here in this vlog series is to bring you along for my journey. I want to show you the process of preparing your meat stocks. What's the difference between stock and broth? What 
what is the difference between poaching a chicken and roasting a chicken and, and the effect that it has on your gut health. So I kind of want to talk you through the process, walk you through the process, take some videos along while I'm preparing foods. Last night I didn't quite have my camera set up, but I made my first batch of actual meat stock and we'll be taking you guys later through the process of separating the vegetables and the meat and the actual wonderful healing liquid is that is our stock for ourselves. And then um, I'll take off all the meat off the chicken that I boiled and make ourselves a, a batch of broth at the same time. So I hope you're excited. I'm very excited and I'm looking forward to seeing the progress along the way.